We've got a brand new AFK shiny hunting method for specifically water Pokemon and in today's video Finizen is the Pokemon that we're going to be going after as an example so sit back we're going to cover all the details in today's video but before we get into it please subscribe to the channel remember you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So for this method in the game, you are going to want to come to Artisan. There is a little bit setting up with this method, but once you do it, it is going to be as easy as anything to get your shiny Pokemon. And we're specifically going to be looking for mass outbreak Pokemon in this area when you're at Artisan. So like I say, there is a little bit of setting up to do, but you want to fly to this area first. It is going to make it easier for Pokemon to spawn in that area that you're wanting. Specifically for this one, we are going after Finizen, but you can do this with any water Pokemon that would appear in a mass outbreak in this specific area that we're going to be looking for finners in. So once you've got your map open and you can see we've got a little water roll, but that is not what we're wanting to go for in this. So to change the Pokemon in the mass outbreak, like I said, this is the first step. You're going to want to just hit your home menu, come down to your system settings, and then come down to system. You can come down to date and time, make sure your synchronized clock is off via the internet. And then you want to come into date and time, click into it. Uh, you can either take your minute back one or you can just press OK. Either or will make this method work click your home menu come back into the game and then all your dens and the mass outbreak pokemon in that area will change so that is what we're going to do repeatedly until we get that finish in in this particular area where the water was and after we've got that then the method will begin so there is, like i say there is a little bit of starting up with this but it shouldn't take too long for you to get the finish in in this location okay so we've got the finish in here and like i say it can work all along this shoreline right along here so the first thing what you want to do after you've got the mass outbreak is just drop a save just to make sure you don't lose it and make sure the auto saves are off in game as well and then you can head over to the outbreak now like i said the method although we had a specific spot where we wanted it to form it can work at any place around the coastline as long as you've got some cliff areas around next to you you'll be able to utilize this method so we've got a nice ledge here we can see that the fin is in all spawning in down below and basically what we're doing now is we want to knock out 60 of these fin is in and once we've done that we can then increase our chances obviously like the mass outbreak shiny hunting method you want to knock out 60 of the pokemon in the outbreak and then you are going to be able to increase your chances of getting the shiny even more and make it a, a much quicker method oh we've got a shiny already are you actually kidding me are you kidding we've got the shiny already here this is amazing. So here is the shiny fin is in, but we will do the method still to show you that you can get it an extra one. But this is a bonus shiny and this is just doing, we've done nine knockouts. So this is a complete bonus for us in a dive ball. And there we go. Brilliant. So that's a good start for us, but we've got, we've still got like 51 fin is in to knock out before we do the actual method. But if you get a shiny on the way to doing this, of course, that is going to be a bonus for you anyway. So that's 60. You've knocked 60 out. You've got the maximum chances of a shiny appearing from this outbreak. The next thing to do is you're going to want to come up to any sort of ledge the way you can set up a picnic. First thing we want to do before you do your picnic is just drop a save. You've knocked the 60 out. You've got them kind of locked in. So you've done all the setup work. The next thing is to just set up a sandwich for water Pokemon. Once you've dropped your save, just set your picnic up and then we are going to make a sandwich which is going to have the encounter power and sparkling power level 3 for water type Pokemon. Now I will put as always an overlay on the screen for you to have a look at for an example of how you can get these sandwich powers. But for this one, because I haven't got any salty herba mystica, I am going to have to mix and match my ingredients. But there will be a link in the description um, if you would like to have a look at some alternative methods for ingredients for getting the same encounter and sparkling power level three for this method so there we go we've got the sparkling power and the encounter power with the title power as well all level three the stray red pepper did not make one little bit of difference so that's good for us now we've done that take down your picnic and we want to head back to where this outbreak was Right, we can head down and we should be right on top of where these finizen are spawning in right now. And then this is the method for doing it. Like I say, as long as you've got a cliff area near you, uh, you're going to be fine for doing this method. And you can see they're all popping in there, which is great. Exactly what we want. But we want to come along. Just position yourself just above where they're kind of mainly spawning in. 
I don't know if this is too far. You ideally, oh, this is perfect actually. This is actually perfect. So you can see now that they are just spawning in. If we come down a little bit, this is perfect. And you wanna position your camera here and you watch as they kind of just spawn in and out and all you're doing now is waiting for the shiny to come in. You'll see they'll disappear and more are gonna come down and it is this easy, this method is this easy to do. Fin is in really easy to spot as well. You can use the zoom function on your controller if you like, that's double pressing your home button and you get a bit more of a, a zoomed in view of the area and you can obviously zoom in and out with your X and Y button as well, but you get a bit of a closer look up if you want. Now to set this up for those of you that don't know, hit your home menu, then come down into your system settings, down into system and then come down to the zoom function here. Uh, you'll be able to use this with all different sorts of shiny hunting methods to just get a closer look at the shinies or the Pokemon when they're spawning in. Uh, obviously just make sure it's on and that will be that. But we are basically set up now just to sit back, do nothing and wait for this shiny Finizen to spawn in here. So you'll see the ones at the top will disappear. We'll get more spawning in the bottom and it is that easy until the shiny does spawn. We've got a shiny already of the Finizen, but this can be applied to any of the water Pokemon that you're gonna get in an outbreak around these areas. And it does make hunting the water Pokemon a lot easier. I think as well, if you could get a little bit higher, it will depend on the cliff edge where you're next to these spawns. It will make it a bit easier for getting them spawning in, maybe a bit quicker, but this is fine for now. You can see that they're coming in at a good steady rate down in the corner there. And uh, like I say, we've got 30 minutes. We just need to sit back and wait for that shiny to spawn in. And there we go, we got the shiny, it is there. You can see it has popped up and we've literally just been sitting here doing nothing. We need to go after it now. So it's as easy as that. You can do this without the sandwich obviously on and just sit back and watch them spawn in from this location but the sandwich obviously does speed everything up. So this is our second one of the video, which is really nice. Um, we'll try and uh, dive ball is just the ball for it, isn't it? Dive ball, one of my favorites anyway, so we don't need to mess around. And like I said, we've got plenty of time left on our timer as well. We haven't really used much. So yeah, that's literally taken like seven minutes for us to do, seven minutes. So we've got like 23 minutes for us to just get back up onto the wall again. So we've got a camera set up again and we want to just come back to this area and we can just wait for another shiny to spawn in, which is brilliant. Right, our sandwich has run out, but as you can see, they're still spawning in and out. It will take a little while, but you can do it without the sandwich. We ended up with two finners in, in this hunt, which was great, but that is how you can do AFK shiny hunting for water type Pokemon. There is a little bit set up with it. The reason why you get the mass outbreak is so you don't get any interference from other water type Pokemon. Obviously dropping a water type sandwich will mean that you're gonna get all sorts of different water Pokemon spawning in all the time. If you've got that mass outbreak in that area where you're doing this method, then it means that solely that Pokemon is gonna be spawning in a lot more than any others, meaning you're gonna be able to do this method, especially when you drop a sandwich for even a level two encounter power for water types it is going to increase the likelihood of these coming in a lot quicker and then you're going to be able to get the shiny super easy. Also, a massive shout out to JG the Pharaoh, who was the content creator who discovered and put out this method for hunting Finizen and water Pokemon using this shiny hunting method. I hope you found this video useful, friends. Hope you're able to put this method into application and have some good shiny luck. If you have found it useful, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and shiny hunting content, of course. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.